Ravi and Judy, it was a final farewell for a fallen firefighter who was stationed right here at this firehouse. Friends and family of Jermaine Pelt say he always had a deep desire to serve, and he died doing what he does best. For the second day in a row, the Chicago Fire family forced to say goodbye to one of their own, sending firefighter Jermaine Pelt off in honor as the procession from Blake Lamb Funeral Home made its way to the House of Hope Church on the south side. Pelt's bunker gear on frontal display of the fire engine, his casket draped in the Chicago flag. And I thank all of you for loving him the way that we love him too. It was a moving service, difficult to hold back tears as family reflect on their beloved Jermaine. You are my hero in every meaning of the word. We love you and see you on the other side. Mourners paying their respects to the 18-year veteran of CFD who died from smoke inhalation while fighting a house fire in West Pullman. The 49-year-old Roseland native was a father of two and the youngest of four brothers. Pelt recently walked his daughter down the aisle to get married. Jermaine was the epitome of integrity. He, he did the right thing. Pelt was accepted into both the Chicago police and fire departments, but chose a career with CFD. But both of those jobs are very dangerous. What, could, what would you do? If you didn't have firemen and police, what would you do? Not only was he a firefighter EMT, Pelt was also a registered nurse and instructor at the fire academy and a legendary firehouse cook. To my brother Jermaine, the Chicago Fire Department will always remember the quality man that you were and still are and the bravery and professionalism that you showed until the very end. A final salute to a man who gave his life for his community. This is about neighbors. We, we live in the community, and so to see what's happening to our community and to have a fallen hero like this. And the Chicago Fire Commissioner says she often tells her recruits not to take the job home with them, but she says after this past week of such loss, that might be easier said than done. We're live in the far south side. Stephanie Wade, ABC7 Eyewitness News. Back to you. Watch breaking news on YouTube. Subscribe to ABC7 Chicago Eyewitness News.